All right, just, um, it's an honor to be, um, to be already introduced. I want to thank uh, Pastor Ralph, Pastor John, and Marilyn, Pastor Bob for um, coming here and blessed us. And also the Elim family for sewing into us. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm really blessed by the conference that they just had um, a few days ago. And, you know, it's truly really confirming that what Pastor Liu said about going together as one and really having, building a church as a place where we have authentic relationship. A, per, a church needs to be a place that is safe for us to confess, that is safe for us to repent, that is safe for us to grow. And, um, and unity is very important because, you know, I can be where I am today is not because of one or two persons, but because uh, there's many people past and present uh, collaboratively investing and sowing into my life. You know, ICC leaders in the past and present, you know, start from um, encouragement from the late Pa Wayan. It's, you know, every, when I try to run away from church, he's the one that keeps, you know, coming and, and, and inviting me. Om Siule, Om Kosun Yong, that's been driving this college kid from, you know, from uh, home to church. Kobili and Kosomi, that's always been here for me. You know, and, and many others, parts of Joe, definitely, for ministering to my life. And also uh, the church family here, and also when I was in Indonesia, that really so into my life. I know some of you are watching right now. Just want to thank you so much. And um, and also, not last but not least, but uh, most important thing is my family. To so Ita, to Manuel, Marika, uh, that's um, just giving me the unconditional love to my mom and dad, and my brothers, and the family, my sisters, and the family, and just um, for giving me so much love. And that, that is really a, a blessing for me. And I especially says ICC has faced so many things in the past. And we pulled through. That is actually a proof that God loves us. A proof that God has a purpose for us as a body of Christ. And you know, as we face the challenge ahead, we know that we cannot do it alone. We need to unite. We need to collaborate. Not just one body as ICC, but also with the body of Christ. And that, you know, that, that's why we are you know, trying to consolidate some of the ministries so that we can really fa uh, face the challenges ahead. To be more effective, to be stronger. Right. And today we just want to celebrate also, the, I think, the, the beginning of this collaboration. Uh, we start with the uh, worship ministry. And before I introduce the, the, the leaders, I just want to uh, use this time to really thank Michael and Didik. That's been the, wor uh, the worship deacon for Indonesian service for so many years. You know, many times we don't see the amount of time and energy that they put behind the scenes. And, and you know, like in March, when suddenly, you know, we got, we got into lockdown and we have to convert to... Uh, online service, they're the one who champion in building the team and make it possible for us. So, you know, just appreciate them and, you know, when you see them, really, you know, take the time to appreciate them and let's to pr pray and support them as they answer and like, God's calling for them in Indonesia and continue to just walk with them. All right? So, um, and today I just want to introduce the, um, the leadership of this uh, consolidation team. Uh, we have Eric, Joan, Rifandi, and Milka. I just want to invite them to come forward. And this is just the beginning, okay? We're going to keep adding people into, into this team because I believe, you know, but, uh, when we are together, we're going to be strong, right? So, the, um, so we're going to pray and we're going to release them. And as they come up, I just want to invite everyone who is in the worship team in uh, Indonesian surface and clay to, to stand. If you're part of the worship team of Indonesian service and clay, please stand. You know, the battle that we face ahead of us, you know, we need to fight it from the presence of God. And these are our warriors that actually will uh, walk on the front line you know, and, and usher us into the presence of God. So let's just, work, let's just pray for them and, um, and support them, okay? Father God, I just want to thank you for our worship team, the ICCC Clay, the consolidated worship team. 
Thank you for these leaders that have been uh, make themselves available to start something new. And Lord, right now, we just want to bless them and release them into this ministry. We know, Lord, there's going to be a new chapter, a new season, a new anointing that's going to fall upon them. We just want to pray blessings over them, blessings over their family, blessings over whatever they, they do, that they will be the head and not the tail, and everything they will they do will be successful. And we want to pray for the rest of the worship team. Lord, we just want to pray that as they continue their life to be a life of a worshiper, then they will be able to experience more and more of your presence. And they will be able to serve us from the abundance of God's presence in their heart. So right now, I just want to bless them and release them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say, Amen.